I'm sure all of you agree that the bone marrow is a very good source of mesenchymal cells or stem cells which are used extensively to treat a lot of orthopedic diseases. Now, the posterior region of the iliac crest is very commonly used as it is an easy and safe method. Now, as an orthopedic surgeon, I have faced certain struggles. Say, if the patient needs a concurrent arthroscopy or she wants it done under spinal anesthesia, it is extremely hard to turn the patient around and then turn them back again. So, this is my technique of harvesting without any complication very good bone marrow from the anterior iliac crest with the patient lying supine. Watch the procedure and follow it so that you also can harvest very good bone marrow for your stem cells. Technique of bone marrow aspiration for harvest of MSC adult stem cells. Find the SIS and then the broadest part of the iliac crest. Tap and see if there is resistance to the needle. Give gentle twisting movements to try and enter the cortex. Especially if the cortex is hard. You have to give pressure in the right direction, otherwise you might slip through the inner table which could cause severe pain to the patient. Once you think you have pierced, check the needle by allowing it to stand on its own. Sometimes, if it is a young patient or a patient with good bone density, you might not be able to pierce it through your hand alone. In that case, you can use a mallet to pierce the cortex if it is a patient who is young with a strong cortex. Gently tap the mallet to enter into the cortex, stabilizing the direction. The point of entry is extremely important. Check once again if the Jamshedi needle has entered into the cortex by allowing it to stand. Do not proceed unless this stability of the needle is achieved. Otherwise, you might enter into the other cortex and pierce the pelvic bone. Once the position is confirmed, proceed to tap two points further on the marker. These markers are on the Jamshadi needle. Always check that the needle is in the middle of the table. Proceed with rotary movements to enter the cancellous pelvis. Once the needle moves freely, rotate to 360 degrees and stop. Stable placement of the extraction device is very important to harvest more than 60 to 100 ml of bone marrow. Follow this to a perfect anterior iliac bone marrow aspiration. Aspirate slowly and consistently. It is of utmost importance. Healthy bone marrow will flow in without a break. If your placement is perfect, you can harvest 60 ml to 100 ml without changing sides. Revive, restore and regenerate. This 3 minute technique is conceptualized and performed by Dr. Santosh Jacob. An important point is to not pull hard when you are harvesting as the mesenchymal cells will get injured when they enter into the tip of the needle. So pull consistently with good pressure. To finish, always stabilize the needle so that the position where you are harvesting or getting the bone marrow doesn't change as you unscrew the top of the syringe. 
another syringe can be replaced and you can harvest more thank you for watching that is a great source of stem cell